Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Bad choice. Know what happens when tourists laugh at the tomb of the unknown soldier? Memorial Day is a day we set aside to remember those men and women who paid the ultimate sacrifice in the defense of our freedoms. If you've ever been to Arlington National Cemetery, you know that this remembrance happens 24/7 365 at the Tomb of the Unknowns. The tomb was built in 1921 to remember soldiers from World War I whose remains were never identified, and was ultimately expanded to include all unknowns. It is a place of solemn reverence. The tomb is guarded by soldiers from the 3rd Infantry Regiment, called the Old Guard, dressed in ceremonial uniform. One of the soldiers walks along the black mat in front of the tomb. The soldier does not display any insignia to show rank. This is out of respect, so that they do not outrank the DD soldiers. Soldiers guard the tomb 24 hours a day, even on those rare occasions when it is closed to the public. The old guard is out there every day, in every kind of weather. The tomb is visited by millions of tourists every year, and the vast majority of them behave in the dignified manner befitting the unknowns. Every once in a while, however, people forget their manners. In those cases, this happens. Don't mess with the old guard. A second incident arose after combat veteran and his daughter were left outraged after a man took a knee at Arlington National Cemetery. During their visit to the hallowed ground, they stopped at the tomb of the unknown soldier, and taps began to play. As usual, people stood respectfully to honor those service members who gave their lives in defense of America. Except for one young man, who chose to kneel. Advertisement, story continues below. Words cannot express my anger right now, the veteran wrote alongside his daughter's picture of the incident. It was then posted to Salute Media's Facebook page, from which it has been shared nearly 8,000 times, as reported by Lynx Media. The impromptu photographer, Katie Wiedaeft, told Snopes that she took the picture this week but did not speak to the man because it was not appropriate as I was trying to be respectful to my fallen brothers and sisters and maintain silence. She added that the young man was recording the ceremony and might simply have been trying to steady himself or get a better camera angle, but with all that is going on currently I just can't imagine that's what it was. I truly hope that his actions were innocent in nature and that he didn't intend to be disrespectful, said Weedaeft. What is known is that everyone standing in front of her was in violation of the dress code for wreath-laying ceremonies, which does not allow jeans, shorts or t-shirts. The protocol guidelines also request that attendees remain silent and standing. So whatever his reasons for kneeling, the man violated the ceremony's rules. Since last year, some NFL players have protested racism in America by kneeling as the national anthem is played during the pregame ceremonies. The movement was started by then 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick, who said at the time that he was not going to stand up to show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color. He is currently unsigned. Although the number of NFL protesters had been reduced to just six by the second week of the season, that changed in week three. After President Trump said that anyone who knelt was a son of a BTCH who should be fired and called on the league to mandate that players stand, hundreds of players, coaches, owners and staff took a knee or locked arms to show solidarity with protesting players. However, many players have stressed that the league-wide demonstration is not intended as disrespect for the flag service members or veterans, and many have placed their hand over the heart while kneeling. Many media outlets have claimed that Americans broadly support the football protest, but a recent Remington Research Group poll found that 64 percent of survey respondents want to see NFL players showing respect for the anthem and flag by standing. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.